Studying is a challenge, and everyone encounters little bumps along the way. But if you feel something is not right about your student experience, then you may decide to pursue grievance resolution. At UniSQ, we are committed to the systematic, fair, and timely handling of your concerns. This video will help you to understand the grievance resolution process, the relevant policies and procedures, and who you can turn to for help. A grievance is defined as a problem or concern raised by a student who considers they've been negatively impacted because of an action, determination, or omission within the control or responsibility of the university. This means you need to show the university has done something wrong, which has directly impacted you as a student. The Student Grievance Resolution Policy and Procedure outline five steps in the resolution process. This video will explore the first two steps, informal resolution and stage one, formal student grievance. In many cases, problems can be resolved just by talking with the person most directly connected to the issue. This might be your lecturer, course examiner, or a professional staff member. Although it's an optional step, informal resolution is often the quickest way to address misunderstandings or mistakes. Start by contacting the staff member. You might decide to arrange an in-person meeting or connect with them by phone, email, or Zoom. If you feel uncomfortable approaching them directly, you can speak with their supervisor, like a head of school or a section manager. You can find all their contact information on the UniSQ website. Before the meeting, we recommend planning what you're going to say. This ensures that your concerns and desired outcomes are clearly presented. You should also keep a written record of events. So take notes during the meeting and send a follow-up email to the staff member, which summarizes the points you've discussed. We understand you might be feeling stressed or frustrated by this whole process, but take a deep breath and remember to be courteous and respectful in your interactions. If you need advice at any time, or you just don't know where to start, you can contact the Student Guild Advocacy Office. They are an independent service and can help you through the grievance resolution process. They can even organize for a support person to accompany you to informal resolution meetings. Hopefully by the end of this process, you've been able to work with the staff member to address your concerns. But if you're feeling dissatisfied with the outcome or prefer not to attempt informal resolution, then you might decide to lodge a formal student grievance. University procedure allows you to submit your grievance within six months of the issue arising, but we recommend lodging your case as early as you can. Some policies have their own specific timeframes, so if you're unsure what applies to your situation, you can contact iConnect for advice. Next, you need to draft your grievance submission. Given that this is a formal document, take the time to compose it carefully and include as much detail as possible. You need to explain the situation clearly, demonstrate the impact, and articulate your desired outcome. You should also include key dates, provide supporting evidence such as emails or medical certificates, ensuring that you state their relevance to the case, and refer to the policies and procedures that are applicable, especially if you're stating that the university has not followed the correct process. And if you attempted informal resolution, then be sure to mention this in your documentation. And don't forget, the Student Guild Advocacy Office can provide valuable advice on your submission, so it's worth checking in with them during this drafting stage. Once you've finished writing your grievance, copy and paste it into the online form. And remember to upload any emails or supporting documents as attachments. When your grievance is lodged, it will be reviewed and then allocated to a decision maker. They will then consider the case determine a course of action and ultimately send you a written response that explains the decision they've made and their reasoning, information about available support services and instructions on how to apply for a review of the decision if you are still dissatisfied. At UniSQ, we strive for positive outcomes in what we do and we hope that you never need to go through this process. But it's reassuring to know that there are procedures and services in place to help you when you need it.